is it very difficult? First you tell what you are feeling, easy? Okay. So, with this uh, same if you want to rotate and uh, translate then we, uh, we should put uh, that rotational matrix and uh, this translation for this everything we can do. Till now whatever we have done it is all related to what is what was uh, related to tell me related to 2 d all transformation was confined to 2 d s, but as I told we will explore dynamic that world. That is another one another column has to come in yeah yeah 4 by 4 yes. So, we are going to explore dynamic world. So, now our dynamic world is already we have three elements, but again if I require to include that homogeneous coordinate uh, projection. So, now you see sir you, you have seen that you are telling me that. So, logically if you go on extending no everything is not changing we are just uh, expanding that uh, opportunity. So, good. Now, our 3D objects are x, y, z and logically you can extend. This is this is our uh, coordinates now a 3D object coordinate not x, y, z, j, x, y, z and in my plane it is 1, in my plane it is 1. My plane means I am seeing no, so I I should be one. So this is a one by four matrix, and for transformation here also A B C D E F G. I require it is a matrix uh, requirement. So, I require a ma matrix uh, of 4 by 4 logical extension and here also I need not I need not change whatever we have learned till um, this time because this retain its usual meaning not h. This is for translation x y z translation, this is for scaling x y z scaling, this is for shearing x y z shearing, every parameter retains its own characteristics. Diagonal elements for shearing, uh, uh, scaling of diagonal is for shearing, minus 1 means reflection, everything will remain same. Means, you, uh, when you enter uh, fourth di uh, third dimension you need not learn everything from 0. This is our logical extension of 2 d and these are all uh, projections. All projections uh, last column. Only a uh, tricky thing is there uh, in rotation, um, uh, scaling everything you can control with these elements, x, y, z uh, scaling you can control with. Ah, now, how you can incorporate this uh, rotation? Rotation only sin cos cos sin. So, this is an unique problem here. But this mathematician, no, they are great people. They they have solved that uh, for us. And uh, what they have done? Suppose I require to rotate this duster here. Okay. So every time x, y, z, all are uh, moving. Okay. Now 
what they are doing oh, they will they want to rotate it here but what they will be doing they will take it to a align it to an axis suppose x axis this is x axis this is x axis y axis and there is z axis so they will start uh, rotating align and then rotate alignment now we know that how we can translate and align we can uh, rotate back and align so that is easy that we can do so we have brought it here and uh, we are now rotating through this now when what is the advantage of doing that here you see this distance from 0 to this distance x distance this always remains same it is not changing only whatever happening x y z all uh, y z only changing if i it align it with x axis so x distance always same for all points no this this this, a, this point this point this point this point all points are from x it is same i will draw a thing suppose i am rotating this here so distance from this line to this object every rotation this is remaining same no whether we rotate it clear so i need not bother about uh, um, uh, changing this x i can restrict that so what will be our uh, matrix for rotational matrix in this case x remain same x will remain same so how we can do that 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 this will be there and i want to rotate uh, uh, yz so how we can do that so simple so simple so i need not learn again a new uh, system for rotation we the i am applying the same knowledge but with a tricky situation i am taking it to the align it to an axis and then rotating and i if i want to rotate it in here so it is here so y distance will be same is not it y distance will be same i will so do that cos theta sin theta goes moves yes from there so why is this so one, so one this will move cos sin minus sin cos 0 this will be like that no niche aayega yes this will be the thing and logically you can uh, make out if you make mistake also no there is no chance of making mistake because if you plot it immediately you will be knowing ki it will not happen so full proof you can say so how easy this is and uh, I, I, the, I was supposed to rotate it here so by matrix multiplication i have brought it to this align this to here and i have rotated at my rotation again i will uh, apply uh, reverse in or inverse matrix to take it here so <laughs> combined operation we will do suppose i will translate it then i will rotate it again 
I will reverse that operation, putting it back to that. So, this I have given and reflection matrix also you see just uh, putting a minus 1 will reflect in that uh, plane x y z plane whichever uh, you want uh, uh, I have uh, shown here and tra translation also L m n is the last uh, column uh, last row that will help in x y z translation and this is to be remembered a into b is not b into a. So, uh, matrix multiplication you have to order be is important. Uh, order is important in so 2 and 5 case. and 5 and 2 is not, not uh, is same for a scalar multiplication, but matrix multiplication to uh, a and b and b and a is not same. So, Hmm. The results will affect it. Yes. It is not commutative. No. So, that is why the, when you read this book, no, it will uh, same thing, same wording will be there, commutative, it will not follow commutative rule. And you know that what commutation is means. So, you will be lost. So, I showed it is that is why that was that time you have not realized that what why I am telling that this is the reason. And last one is projection. What is actual projection means? Orthographic projection, if you want to do orthographic projection, what does it mean? This object. You push it back to a particular plane. Uh, yes, this is a three dimension object. Okay. I will take it two dimension plane. So, that is orthographic projection. So, so, projection and how simple this projection you know, what you have to do? You just see this uh, sample here. Here you see this 0, 0, 1, first one p x, p x means that will uh, one element will be 0, that is all. x row, uh, first row and first column is 0, 0, 0. That means, a, this will project in y z plane. Similarly, for going to be 0. The, the plane other means x is value will be 0 Correct. that means, it will y z um, axis. <laughs> Similarly, Correct. this will be back view, front view, uh, top view everything you can achieve through this. So, simple. So, friends now uh, we have completed almost 2D and 3D transformation and uh, we have explored all the operation related to this uh, th uh, 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 3D uh, uh, diamond, uh, three dyna uh, dynamic world uh, in 3D and uh, next session we will try to visit non-linear systems. Okay. Thank you.